back to the Mr. Excel netcast. I'm Bill Jelen. In yesterday's netcast, Jim from Montreal called and we kind of complained about the new auto filter in Excel 2007. To be fair though, let me show you some of the great new things that Microsoft has added to the auto filter functionality in Excel 2007. One of my favorites is when you choose the auto filter on a column that predominantly contains dates. It used to be that they would give you a list of all the dates and if they were daily dates that really wasn't a lot of help in my opinion. Now we kind of have a tree view here where we see all the different years and so let me turn that off and look at just 2007. Within 2007 then I have a list of all the different months. If I'm just interested in a certain range of dates in the current month I can open February and say that I just want to see maybe things that happen this week and click OK and Excel will very quickly filter down to that level. But you can do the same thing without using the tree view at all. If I clear the filter from the date and come back in, there's a whole new class of filters that I call virtual filters. So we choose date filters and we can choose, this is almost, this almost seems like the list in QuickBooks, if you're a QuickBooks user. I can say that I want to see just records from this week, last week, next week, this month, last month, this quarter, last quarter, next quarter, this year, or year to date. There's also filters where you can say all dates in February, all dates in Q2, all dates in Q3. These new virtual date filters are great. Let me choose everything from this month and we'll see just the February records. Um, that's a great improvement in the auto filter. Similar filters are available if you have text. You can now say that we want to look at everything between A and F or something like that, which would be good if you're in an apartment where you handle the first set of customers at the beginning of the alphabet. The other interesting filter that we have is on numeric filters. We can say we just want to see the records that are greater than a certain value or between a certain value or the top 10. Now we had top 10 before but everything else is brand new in Excel 2007. So they really have done a lot of work in the auto filter. To a certain extent this makes it even more obscure when you would have to go out and use the old advanced filter um, which is really one of the hardest things to use in Excel. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.